I'm Phyllis Magidson. I'm the Elizabeth Farron Tozer Curator of Costumes and Textiles at the Museum of the City of New York. And I'm Susan Swimmer, a fashion expert based here in New York City. We are here to talk about the fashion of the 1960s. A question for you. What are some of the hallmarks of 1960s fashion? I think that it was a renegade decade. I think there was explosive color. There were many changes in silhouette. There were changes in the way that clothing was constructed. Uh, there's, there's just, it broke every tradition. I think it had a lot to do with politics and just a spirit of anger on the part of the youth uh -huh. culture. And it all manifested itself in clothing. Interesting. Our special guest today is Jackie Stafford, celebrity stylist, who's gonna take us through the exhibit. Jackie, thank you so much for joining me here at the museum. We are here to talk about 60s fashion, which is a personal obsession of mine. Mm -hmm. This exhibit starts with first lady fashion in the early 60s. No one epitomized it more than Jackie Kennedy. And I was thinking, no one today does it better, does it more on point than Kate Middleton. Exactly, so, so the Princess of Cambridge is our Jackie Kennedy, she if you is, will. Right? So she really has brought about that, that same look, that same almost vision, if you will, of that still structured, still formal pieces. She incorporates color, but she still looks appropriate and regal. And, but modern. But it modern doesn't look fresh. Jutty, right? God, is that an enduring look. Next up is Youthquake. This is a group where the, sh the skirt lengths got shorter, the colors got poppier. I think it was sort of, you know, after the seriousness of the Jackie Kennedy years, we went into something that was very fun and very lively. The designs were more graphic, and you know what? You see it today. Look at someone like Reese Witherspoon. Oh, does she love to show off those legs with a short skirt? Exactly. I mean, think about it. Jennifer Lopez, Reese Witherspoon. Kerry Washington. Kerry Washington. Yep. You know, they're, sh they're showing off their yoga-toned bodies. They've got great legs. They're happy to show off on the red carpet, the shorter length. Just such a great way to and wear it. I like it. that youthful spirit. I just think that that has been pulled through. It started there in the 60s, and it's been pulled through decade after decade, because I think women always want to go back to that exuberance. OK, next up is New Bohemia. I know that this style is very near and dear to your heart. It's all about those kaleidoscopic colors and flowy styles. For me, no one is the, the poster child more for that than Miss Drew Barrymore. Absolutely. She is such a free spirit and she loves this look. Well, she loves this look because it's easy. It's that California boho chic. It's that very much like flower child. Yes, so yes. everybody's loving it. It's come from you know, California. It's Now it's everywhere. It's just that standard, almost uniform. Think about summer. It's how you do summer. Okay, now we're moving to the new nonchalance. So this time period was all about sort of more body conscious fabrics. Jersey knit came into the scene. And so I'm also seeing a lot of these actresses today, they're loving the jersey fabric, loving the bodycon. I mean, I see it on Beyonce, I see it on Selena Gomez. I mean, their bodies are phenomenal, and I think there's something just incredible incredibly modern and sexy about it. The jersey fabrics, which today women love, all the new technologies that they've introduced in fabrics and clothing, but something about that jersey fabric that just glides over the body, that just cut, just really encases and showcases your curves. It's just such a great way to dress, and it's comfortable. Remember, the technology has, in, has introduced all that new comfort and stretch. So jersey was that first type of fabric that we started yes. to seeing to have embraced that comfort for the woman. Okay, right in the middle of our 60s decade was the famed black and white ball that Truman Capote did at the Plaza Hotel, where everyone was asked to wear black and white. And I will say there is no more classic combination for evening than this. Black and white has been a classic ever since that moment. Even today, if you're unsure what to wear, think black and white. Right. Every cocktail party has some version of a black and white. You can't go wrong. And today, we see it on every red carpet. We see A-listers wearing it. Why wouldn't they wear it? It's classic. Julia Roberts accepting her Academy Award for Erin Brockovich. That would have looked right in place at the party. Right? I mean, she could have literally walked from that stage into Truman Capote's party. My old friend Jackie, thank you so much for doing this with me. I can't think of anyone I'd rather talk about fashion with. Oh, well, thank you for having me. So fun. My favorite period, the 60s. Wonderful. Phyllis, from the fashion of the 1960s, are there any takeaways you'd like people to leave with after seeing this exhibit? I think that clothing 
is not just frivolity. I think that clothing really does have meaning. I think that people send signals by the way that they dress, and I think that it's very, very apparent in the styles that we have included in the exhibition. Amazing. Thank you so much, and thank you for having me. Thank you.